Hello, Wolfmind here, and today we're going to be showing off a brand new custom cruise ship. I know it's been a very long time since I made a custom cruise ship, ever since the Renata, and this has to be a pretty good one, at least uh, for the exterior and as well as the interior, because the interior is pretty well done in this one, I have to do, if I do say so myself. And uh, the name of the ship is The Legacy. And it took me a little longer than a day to build in total, but it was worth it since I had to do a lot more interior work than I normally did in the previous ships, such as the Arrowin or the Sea Star. And the size of this ship isn't really very, or <laughs> isn't very big at all, actually. It's pretty much the size in between the Sea Star and the Arrowin. It's more closely the size of the Sea Star. And it is around, I know that it's around 40 blocks long, um, either, yeah, like in between 140 and, oh yeah, I probably said 40 blocks, I meant 140 blocks, and, and so it's between 140 blocks and 150 blocks. And as you can tell, it's not very big, very tall, and it has a full entire complete hull. You can see down there you got your props. And then you got your aft thrusters, and then all the way at the front is your bow thrusters. We'll look at them again when we come back around. But right here you can get a good glance of the exterior. Got the smokestack, and then you got the aft pool, as well as all kinds of other good stuff. So we only have eight life bolts aboard, which makes sense because this boat does not carry many people has a lot of entertainment compared to the amount of people on board because most of the rooms are at the bottom and all the entertainment's on the upper decks so yeah I think I'm gonna head in right here on deck number one and we'll do deck one and then I'll do deck zero and then we'll work our way up alright so these are the tender areas there's uh, two in the front and two in the back, back that way. And right now, so deck one, up here we have rooms, and someone left this door open. I made this on the Operation Infinite Ocean server. If you do not know what Operation Infinite Ocean is, I will have a link in the description to the Operation Infinite Ocean forum page, which you can go check it out yourself. So right here we have the bedrooms, and all the bedrooms in the ship are exactly alike, or at least to the same looking. Because for the uh, rooms with the patios, or lanais, or whatever you want to call them, balconies, they uh, have the same style, but they're just more squished in, if you get what I mean. So right here we have the front staircase, which is just for crew only. And we'll take it down to deck zero, which uh, doesn't have much going on. It's mostly just the water control. All, only things down here is the elevator shafts. These are the front elevator shafts. And the only other things are the water controls, where we got water tanks for people to drink and to cook with. And then back here we have the engine room, which looks very similar to all engine rooms on my previous ships, but in this ship, we I didn't actually take parts from Renata. I just built my own parts. Because if you notice in the, in the uh, what do you call it, the Disney Dream, or no, Disney Magic, sorry. I don't even know the, or I don't even know the names of my own ships. <laughs> Shows you how good I am at remembering things. But yeah. But uh, what, what I'm trying to say is that in the Renata we made, or MDs, made the engine room, and then we, in the Magic, we just took the parts from the Renata and threw them into the, into the Magic, which uh, pretty much worked fine. And then back this way, we have more rooms. This is basically the two decks, and people are leaving the doors open. It annoys me so much! But yeah, this is mostly rooms on this, on the first two decks and then back here we have crew only and this is the storage area where they put all kinds of crates and car well King put the car in 
And then we got all kinds of good stuff. And there's all kinds of Easter eggs in here too, which you, uh, if you download the map, you can go check out yourself. I'm not going to show them in this video, but that could be a little reward for downloading. You can go check out what's going on in the storage compartment. Alright, so deck two, which you can see, we this is the deck with the stripe that you see on the outside. And we have all the same rooms, and back here is what I believe is the aft docking area. And for once, the ship actually has anchors on it, and the uh, aft anchor is actually below me right now on the exterior of the ship, which you can see if you were to fly around the back. But yeah, looks similar to all my other aft or aft uh, docking or anchor area, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the actual name is, so yeah. But uh, the what do you call it? The winches are very smaller are very small compared to the bigger ships, which makes sense because you don't need that big of a winch on a tiny ship. So yeah. So we got more rooms. I'm not going to go into every single one because they're all exactly alike and you're not really missing much. If you care to go look through every single one, then uh, be my guest if you download it. And then right here is just the top of the crew only staircase. That's basically just the staircase for the crew to get up and down through the decks freely as a bee or whatever you want to use the term for. So deck three is the beginning of the entertainment decks, just like on most of my ships. And as on most of my ships as well, deck three usually begins the side deck for uh, walking around on the side of the ship. And right here we have the front lobby, or no, this is probably the back lobby. I do not know, because they are exactly alike. Oh yeah, that was the front lobby, and this is the back lobby, and they're pretty much exactly alike, just reversed on each side. And then we have sh two shops on the bottom, at least on the bottom of the lobby area. You got little designs, definitely just a very simple, and of course you have all the detailing stuff from the top deck, which you'll see later. Nothing I could do about hiding that without putting like stone slabs and then that would actually make it look horrible because of the lighting glitch. But it looks okay to me. I mean, just don't look up. I mean, it's all good. So back here we have the main dining hall, which <laughs> I called the High Horse Dine Hall just because it is very high horse. And if you don't know what high horse means, it's pretty much very fancy. It's pretty much what it means. But yeah, I got like tablecloths and candlelight and all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's enough of that. We'll move on to deck four because there's nothing else left on deck three. Okay, so we are in the back, which contains the casino. And oddly enough, all the paintings fell off the slot machines. Oh, uh, well. Not not gonna do about that. I guess paintings don't. Oh, uh, it's right. You can't world edit paintings. That's why. Silly me. But yeah, the yeah, um, there would be paintings on here. But uh, sorry about that. That's not gonna be on there. I just realized. Oh well. But yeah, they look slot machine enough, right? <laughs> but you got a bar, and then you got poker tables, and all kinds of good stuff that casinos have. Alright, so pretty much the problem with deck four is that you can't you have to take the uh you have to take the back elevator to get to the casino and you cannot get anywhere else. You have to go back down to deck three and come up these staircases. Which can be annoying, but it works. So right here we have two or this I was I don't know why I said two, but this is a pretty much a restaurant bar. Whatever you wanna call it. I never I as you know I never really give my restaurant names on a custom ship. Which you probably would already know that if you follow my cruise ships, or at least follow my custom ones or my channel. Oh that good jazz. So right now this is the front elevators which you have to take in order to get to the theater. And it's a very small theater, simple, you got your casual seats and then you got the stage with the door that goes, uh, I'll show you where it goes later on. Actually, I should go there right now. It's uh, pretty much a good idea to actually come this way. 
So right here, this has to be one of the most confusing battles to get to on on my ships. Uh, I, I was about to like cut it off and just say, no, there's no way you can get to the bow. I was going to figure out another way, but it worked. So here's the bow, you know, simple bow and got the bridge up there. And if we go back in, and if you take, oh no, wait, <laughs> over here. If you take these stairs, these stairs take you up to deck five, I believe, yeah, five. And that's where the stairs come up, and that's where all, there's rooms up there, and that's pretty much how you get to the bow if you were a guest on the ship. So yeah, that's how you pretty much get to the bow, if you were, uh, were wondering, and you didn't know how to get there, th there you go. So we're going on to deck five now, since we're done with the four deck. And uh, we're going to start, actually, I, sh I should have started with the front. What am I doing? Just pointless, uh, pointlessly walking around. So this is, or these are the balcony decks, or whatever you want to call them. And you have the, of course, don't get all over me about this, but yes, I have wool beds. And if you remember anything, I told you that you cannot world edit regular beds. And you can world edit them, but it has to be at a certain, like, what do you call it, an angle. Like, uh, I believe that they're, like, facing north and south lengthwise then you can actually um, play our uh, world edit them. If you do it the other way, it's not going to work. So yeah, sip a little room. And then up here is, well, these are empty suite rooms, because as you know, that's my uh, main thing to do, is to never furnish suite rooms. And this is the top of the staircases that I showed you before, and that's how you get to the bow, is down those staircases. And that's pretty much how you do. You just go to deck five and go to the front of the ship, and there you go. Sitting right there waiting for you. All right, so we have two restaurants right here. Uh, they don't have any names, of course. But this is more of a cafe-ish, nature-y area. I don't know. I just, I, I, the thing I do is when I build ships is that when I... Going, when I'm going through it, I just like to decide, oh, this looks good here, this looks good there. That's pretty much how I do it. And it just comes all together very nicely. Here is another restaurant that has a deserty theme to it. You got a good view of the, well, we're in the middle of the ship right now, so you have a good view of the middle area when you're cruising through the open seas. And I think I'm going backwards, am I? No, I'm not. Never mind. I thought I was. I thought I got turned around. I was heading the wrong way. Derp to derp. And back here is the aft pool or the back pool, whatever you want to call it. it. Doesn't have a name. But yeah, this is the deepest pool on the ship, and you'll see why. Because on the top, I couldn't do a dipping pool because of the lobby right below. That's kind of the problem when you have a very tiny ship is that you have to really squeeze things down in order to conserve space and we got a little bar uh, I kind of did well the furnaces are backwards the world edit these days does not work very well with uh, blocks like that but yeah this is pretty much like a little pizza place if you want a pizza you can go there and get a pizza simple enough Alright, so, that pretty much concludes Deck 5. Let's go on to Deck 6. So, we have the gym on Deck 6, and this is at the very back. So, we have the gym. Simple. Good looking. Just a basketball court, and you got basketballs right there. And you shoot some hoops if you want while you're cruising. Yeah, yeah. And then right here is the side area and that goes to the pool but we're gonna head this way first and this is still the back of the ship and it's pretty much the upper lounge here or well, pretty much the upper deck of the back because there is a deck up there but it's not really for lounging it's just for walking around so yeah jeez I've been going on for 15 minutes now good god crazy for the, so yeah, I don't even. I was expecting like, oh, this is gonna be a simple 
10 minute video. Nope. It's probably going to be like 20 minutes, but I don't care. All right, so this is the main pool, and we have the Jumbotron up here, and we have a stage right here for performances by people, mostly like entertainment stuff. And you got two hot tubs, and you got a pool, which isn't deep, like I said, because the lobby is right below me, right? If I were to punch this out, I would go falling into the lobby. So yeah, simple, shallow pool. More like a, this could be like the kitty area, you know, you got the kitty pool. And then, for the first time ever, we have not one, but two slides on a cruise ship. And this is pretty much just a racing slide. And we'll go down those right now, because this is how you get to the slides. is right here, or if you're on the deck above, you come in right there. And then you just go down. We, yep, see? Fully functional. Oh boy. Don't go too crazy. Alright, so that's the bull. We covered that. Now we're going to head forward. And up here, we have the bridge, as well as the spa, which uh, isn't really furnished at all. It's just pretty much set up. Like, it's not doesn't have as much as it needs to be in there. It's just set up. And I, I'm not really a spa guy, so I don't know what to do. But this is the crazy amount of switch work. Oh, whoa. Well, all the hatches messed up. Oh, well. These would all be against the iron blocks. But yes, this is the bridge as I lag up. And for and got a little, nice little down looking, because I, I just realized a lot of uh, cruise ships have this, where you can stand up here and look down. And, yeah. And this seat is higher up than the others, so that you can see better. It's definitely a good looking... It's a good overlooking area on the ship. And it also is one of the nicest bridges on my ships as well. And right here we have more computers and all kinds of doohickeys. Same on the other side. More computers for computing stuff. And making sure you're on course to your next cruise. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so deck 7 is next. And... I believe this is, yeah, this is the final deck. Thank God. And this way is a service door. Holy cow! <laughs> Whew, that scared me. Let me, uh, <laughs> let's fix that, shall we? Oh, no, he broke the door. No, he ruined the cruise. That's not fair. But, yeah, this is the top deck area, which pretty much is all deck, as always. And then you have your antenna and your Doppler... And all your good stuff up front, all your navigational systems up there. And then you got your smokestack back here with more antennas for reading stuff and all kinds of that. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the ship right there. And this pretty much concludes the tour as well. Um, I do have more cruise ships planned. I'm working on a very small, it's less than 100 blocks, but it's a very small real-life cruise ship or cruise ship. And uh, I'm working on that right now. I don't expect it to be done for a while just because I have to do some things, which is why the channel is not going to be active this c upcoming week. And because it's only going to be active tomorrow. And that's when I'm going to have a video up going th on that day. And then after that, it's just all empty. And then once I get back, it'll be more uploading and all fun stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Chris, also known as Wolfmind, and go download this ship!